a lot of Islamic movements that do not prepare for government. They are good activists, but they don't prepare for what they're going to do when they're in charge. They get to power and then they try to figure out to fill in these blanks and what they do is just start borrowing everything from the West. Borrowing in the West isn't, isn't just borrowing intellectually, it's also borrowing practically because then you need help, you don't know how to do things physically and then you get foreign assistance, whether from the UN or from ambassadors, and then you, you become a client state just through that. Turabi declared the first and only Islamic state in the world. That model of an Islamic state was basically a few hadood rules, some economic rules, everything else was like filling in the blanks. Also what doesn't work is mixing Islam with other things as well. That's, this is very important. Because then you're justifying the oppression and the people, they stay quiet, they accept it for a while because you've told them this is how Islam is and they've accepted it. And then over time when things get unbearable, then they blame Islam for what's happened. Yeah, so this is also dangerous.